G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com. Have you ever wanted to print your photos at home, but you've been frustrated because it seems to waste so much paper? Well, I'm here to help. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up your own layout to print multiple photos on one sheet of US letter paper. So what we are going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop Elements. I'm using Adobe Photoshop Elements 2024 here, and then we're going to click on the photo editor. Then we are going to go into the advanced mode of Photoshop Elements. Then we will click on File, New, Blank File, and then we're going to click on the document type. And this has a great range of predefined settings that you can use. And for our letter paper today, we're going to select US paper and then we can drop down the size tab and you can see we've got several options, but we're going to choose letter paper, which is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. You won't need to change the height, width or resolution. We'll leave it at 300 pixels per inch because that usually gives a good result with printing. And then we're going to click OK and Photoshop Elements will create the document for us. Then the next step is to go to the View menu. And we're going to first show our rulers to help us um, with laying out our photos. And just to make things easier for you, I'm going to just change my settings here so that the ruler shows up in inches. So that will probably make most sense for this video. And then we're going to click view guides. Now you can see that's grayed out because there are no guides currently in. So for today, I'm going to use the standard photo size of four by six as our example, but you can set up guides so you can print at any size you prefer up to eight and a half by 11 inches. So let's go to the view menu and then click new guide. And we're going to set up our first guide at four inches. That's a vertical guideline at four inches. And then we're going to set up another one, new guide at eight inches. So we can fit two vertical four by sixes here. So now we've placed that four inch marker. Let's go ahead and create a new horizontal guide at six inches. So now you can see we've got space for one four by six here. And we can probably fit another one here. Well, we know we can because it's 8.5 inches. So let's set up a new guide at a vertical guide at eight inches. So now we've got space for two vertical four by sixes. Now, of course, it doesn't matter. You can always rotate your photos and print them out in any orientation. And then this bottom section here, uh, we'll need to just have a four by six photo there. So because, you know, six plus six is 12 and our paper's only 11 and a half inches. So let's create our guide for this section here. So we've got a six inch section here and then we want a four inch section there. So we will create a new horizontal guide at 10 inches. And then we'll create a new vertical guide at six inches. So that shows us where our horizontal four by six can fit here. If you'd like to save yourself this mental maths, you can pick up my letter paper template with all the guides in place, plus my A4 paper and four by six templates in my brand new class, photo editing for absolute beginners. The class includes a whole lot of introductory videos to get you up and running in Photoshop Elements and those templates to save you time with your printing. And now let's place our photos. 
So all you need to do is open up each photo you want to print and then drag them from the photo bin on to our new blank document. We could have two verticals and one horizontal on this piece of paper. So I'm going to use the eye icon to turn them off. I'm going to resize this one here. Here we go. Turn this one on. I'm going to resize this photo. There we go. And now we're going to put this horizontal one down at the bottom. So the the six inches line is here. And the four inches line is here. But again, this isn't the proper proportions and I can't really crop this photo. So it's just going to go as is. So even though I'm based in Australia and I wouldn't usually have eight and a half by 11 photo paper laying around, I do have some from a sample pack. So I'm actually able to demonstrate how this turns out. If you are printing at home, beware, your printer may not have the capacity to actually print to the edge. So you may need to fiddle around, especially at the top and bottom. So for me, what I'm going to do is now that I've got these all size the right size, I'm just going to move them into the middle. And then I will print them. I'll print this one on my printer with my letter paper. I'm going to print actual size. And then I'm going to check the printer settings to make sure it's printing the right paper from the right paper tray and click print. Here's the end result printed on beautiful matte Epson professional paper. Love it. On letter. So we've got our two four by sixes here and our last little not quite four by six. As you can see the results are great. You can fit three four by sixes onto your eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. I hope this has given you some idea of what real life printing at home looks like. I hope this video has helped you learn how you can take simple steps to print high quality photos at home. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my brand new class, Photo Editing for Absolute Beginners. This class is all new with a beautiful new classroom that's super easy to use. And I have got a special coupon for YouTube subscribers. Use code YouTube10 to take $10 off this new class. You can learn how to use Photoshop elements to make basic edits, add text, crop and print your photos. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and then click on the down arrow and select all so you'll be notified each time I release a new video. And if you'd like to learn more, you can always head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.